Hello everyone! It's Paul Spooner again at my Nightmare Base. I have added a few touches since last time. There's a storage area here where all the parts get accumulated, which is kind of handy so I don't have to run over all the base all the time. And I move my hub up here. Um, but everything else is basically the same, and today I'm going to go over to my turbo motor factory and show you around. It's the video nobody asked for, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is my main base, Turbo Motor Factory. It's got two turbo motor assemblers, manufacturers? I think they're manufacturers, yeah. Um, they're not running at full capacity right now. I, I messed up the rubber because I'm, I'm pulling rubber off into the storage zone uh, so that I'd have enough rubber. But they'll eventually be back up to full capacity. But I thought, you know, it'd be fun to do a factory with just just doing turbo motors is not doing anything else. This is kind of stitched on to the outside of my existing factory. And I wanted to do a factory that was dedicated. Kind of to get more tickets. Um, and kind of to just to, to have it done. I did end up getting enough tickets to buy the Golden Nut statue. Which is great. Except that now there's nothing else to do in this game. But, you know, it's still fun to run around and explore. I've explored most of the map. Let's see, how much have I got? Uh, yeah, just got to explore in this area mostly. And there's a few corners down here that I haven't looked at. And then, I, I don't think there's anything up on these mesas. I explored up on top of this mesa, and there's just nothing up there. It's just a big blink nothing, so... I think you're not supposed to go up there yet. But, uh, last time I was in here... There wasn't much to collect, but I think there's some stuff to collect now. This is one of the features that I I have added, but I don't really need, or haven't employed yet. It's a big water pump station, a bunch of pumps. Uh, I, I don't actually need any water right now. I'm hoping at some point to convert my Caterium refineries over, but... Uh, that may or may not happen. If it does, then it'll be really handy because I can just truck the water in or train it in on, on train cars. But if it doesn't, then I just built that whole thing for nothing. Which, I mean, you know, is a good exercise, I guess. But it would have been, uh, been nice to use it for something. Another thing I might do at some point is add another six nuclear reactors. The spot that I've got has a tier 2 miner on it, miner mark 2, and the, of course I can build miner mark 3s now, so I could double the output, which means doubling the number of nuclear reactors I could support, which would be 12 at full capacity, which really means I could probably support more like 15 or 20 even, because uh, I, I don't run at full capacity. Although, because I don't run at full capacity, there's no reason I would need that many, especially since I'm only using three right now. So here's my nuclear fuel refinery. Take a quick look at that. Uh, I think I showed this off in the previous base tour, but this is the route on the way to my turbo motor factory. So the turbo motor factory uh, draws from all its own resources over here. The only thing it draws from the main base is here, which is a Caterium mine. I didn't want to build a new one because my current one was still at like half capacity. So it is uh, water and what else is up here? Uh, rubber and coke here. And then the coke gets imported to the aluminum plant, which produces aluminum ingots. And then down here, uh, we should probably, here's the base. Here it is, in all its glory, yay! So I did some attempt at making this a little bit nicer, not just like sprawled out on the ground, but um, it's still kind of a mess. So, let's see, where was I? Oh yeah, so then uh, this base, well, actually I can just show you, I can just run down here and, uh, and show off the base because we can see it from here from the end of this walkway and then we'll kind of take a tour around through the the rest of the factory 
So that is the other outpost that's contributing. Oh, well, there's another, there's another one too. There's a uh, crystal, uh, quartz crystal, raw quartz mine up here. And then down here is, um, it imports coke and exports, what is it? Copper sheet, copper bars, mm, aluminum ingots. It, it transfers the aluminum ingots there and something else, I forget. Some other stuff, we'll see soon. But anyway, that's another processing factory where it's mining uh, copper and iron. And then this is the story of this conveyor belt. Everything was running on trains until I got to the, uh, what is it, the heat sink factory. And the heat sinks, I thought needed copper sheets, but they just need copper bars. Maybe that got updated at some point, but I missed the memo. So <laughs> I was sitting there just staring at it for like, uh, uh, probably like 20 seconds going like, no, this can't be happening. Did I seriously not import any copper bars? And so I just ran that, that conveyor uh, all the way up here. Oh, yeah, it's on the second story here. And uh, and imported copper bars. Now I'm now I'm producing Alclad Dad, copper you ingots. In yeah, I'm in my world. Um, no, I'm I'm just playing by myself. I'm making a video actually of this factory. Um. So, trains come in, three trains come in, we've got, uh, oh, I better not stand up there, I'll get smushed. Uh, this is the big train from just down the hill. This is a train with uh, caterium, or no, uh, raw crystals, and this is the one where the caterium gets loaded here. And then, caterium ingots get turned into wire, we've got the alternate for that, and of course, quick wire over here and then the copper sheets come on from the train and get turned into AI limiters so this is the AI limiter wing over here all that comes out of here is AI limiters and on the other side this copper wire goes over we've already passed through it twice but I'll just point it out this is the rotor and stator wing so it just makes rotors and stators and uh, those go over here to this motor factory, which produces motors. And the excess stators go up here to the turbo motor factory, as turbo motors need motors as well. Then all this stuff is supplies for the radio control units, basically. Um, that's circuit boards with alternate silica and copper sheet. These three all go upstairs to, well, let's just go up there, uh, to the third floor, um, to the crystal oscillator plants. There's two of those, or three of those? Three of those. All running at 171%, so we need lots and lots of these crystal oscillators, and boy, are we producing lots and lots of them. So those all get pumped over here. And then uh, on the second story, there is basically just heat sinks. So it's, oh dear. So it's uh, outclad sheet here, going into heat sink factory there. And then these are computers. Uh, yeah, alternate computers, crystal, crystal computers. So those are over there. So this is the computers and heat sinks deck. And then uh, those, almost all of those go upstairs Dad, to this factory. Hmm? Your, uh, big base. This, uh, this is my small base that just produces turbo motors. Big base is back at the, the big base. Uh, so those are the radio control unit factories. And I've got two of those. And this thing is just so fun. I like how they stack and uh, and spill out nicely. Made me happy. So that all gets in there, and then pull off some of the AI limiters. Oh, I'm yawning. Why am I yawning? And uh, feed all that stuff into here. I think this is running at 100%. It is. Haha! -ha, I did all the math right. So uh, if I did all the math right, everything should be running just a tiny bit over so it'll very very slowly back up you can see the motors are very slowly backing up and uh, and everything will be 
just about perfectly balanced so that I'm producing 2.8 turbo motors a minute. And those go into a crusher and just get smashed up and turned into tickets. Uh, I've produced so many that I'm now Daddy, get it out. very, very slowly producing Daddy, coupons. Get it out. It's very slow. Uh, they also rebalance. It used to be doing about like 80 to 90 million points per minute. No, there's no. It's zero. Look, it says zero. There. Now it says one. Now we can print it out. There we go. Doink. Why did you need those? Why do I need them? I don't. I don't need them. They're all. They're all for cosmetics. So, uh, yeah. So that whole factory, just works on getting points that I don't need. But it was a fun project. It's fun to... There we go. Did it. It's like landing. Uh, I was thinking about building walls all the way up and finishing this off, putting a roof on it and everything. But, I don't know. This is about as, as close to everything being organized as I, can, uh, as I can imagine right now. I really do love these glass floors. It's very, very cool. <laughs> And uh, Daddy, as Seamus mentioned in the diecast, the train. What's up? Get in the train. Not right now. I'm showing off the base. As Seamus mentioned in the previous diecast, uh, the other thing you unlock with uh, the glass floors is these foundation frames, and they are super handy for trapping enemies. You can trap enemies inside, and they're just stuck. They can't get out, and uh, it makes it really, really easy to kill them. To kill them. So there we go. There's the turbo motor factory. Yeah. In the tree. I think this is why I didn't build those walls all the way up because this thing was Daddy. going over and I didn't couldn't be bothered to tear it down and rebuild it over in the Daddy, maybe over come over the top of those out. or around the end or something. Daddy, around the end would make a lot of sense. Oh, also this thing prevents it from building because even though the base doesn't interfere here, which it should. Uh, this power pole thing uh, doesn't allow you to build a wall here, so that's also another reason I'd have to tear down all those. Or maybe just one of them. Why am I not... this middle click not working on the walls? Foundations. It's just not working on the walls. That's weird. Encroaching others' clearance. Yeah, see, it's encroaching on that building. To be fair, that is really encroaching. But why was it encroaching down there? Who knows? Do I not have those walls anymore? What happened to my walls? I can build them. The middle click doesn't work on them for whatever reason. And it... What? Alright, that's just weird. Okay, anyway. Bye. Do you want me to go get in the train now? Yeah. Okay, let's go get in the train.